We're up early, we're waiting for a taxi, and we're going to America. You all good? Get in the front. Yeah, why not? Well, we are early, the bin men are in. We good? Oh, yeah, very. Good morning, son. How are you? Skies are good. Check in. Breakfast? Yes, let's have some breakfast. Full English breakfast. Well, I'm a full English, but with scrambled egg. I'm having a bit of a throwback to the last time we tried to fly to LA from Heathrow. Our flight ended up being so delayed that we received more compensation <laughs> than we actually paid for the flights in the first place, which was enough actually to buy us tickets to go to Universal Studios. Getting a little bit excited now. We're on the very back row of the plane as well, so we'll be last on, which I'm good with it, as long as I can get my bags near me. We're teasing Harry with sweets. How are we doing two hours in? Oh, really good. I've had three glasses of wine and I had the vegetable curry as well, which is really nice. What did you have? Um, what did I have? The curry. The curry. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. He just wiped my kiss off. He said he just rubbed it in, but he just wiped it off. Ready? <laughs> rub it in. Gently rub round, round. Well, we made it, and we made it through customs really much smoother than last time, didn't we? Yeah, last time. Oh, it was a catalogue of disasters last time. So yeah. much went wrong. What are we, 20 minutes this time? If that. If yeah. that. So it's really, really lovely. Good. He smiled. He did. Asked us a lot of questions. Where are we going a few times? Where are we going after that? Then where are we going? What are we doing? Um, but we're here. We're shattered. It's up as 12 UK time, up as 4 LA time. So we need to stay awake. But we're waiting for the hotel shuttle bus, which is complimentary and should be here in half an hour, on the air, every hour. By complimentary, it's going to tell me how beautiful it'll look, even though I've just done <laughs> an 11 hour flight. Oh, I'm shattered, but we need to stay awake. The next day. Welcome to our Motel 6 room. Come on in. As you come through, we have this tiny little lobby area, enough for one suitcase and some hanging, a sink to one side, and a perfectly adequate bathroom. And then as you come into the main bedroom, we have a little dining area and a Georgie and two double beds. Now these were perfect. We had Georgie in with us. The big boys have got exactly the same room just down the hall. So they had a bed each, which they were really impressed with, not having to share with their little brother. And we've got a decent TV and a nice big window with air con that was running all night. Because my husband's hot. <laughs> Out through the window, we've got a great big parking lot because this is a motel. So I think, I don't know if most people do drive or if this is really for the airport, but it's great. It's been fine. It's not fabulous. I can just see the swimming pool out to one side. We were speaking to a guy who was cleaning it this morning and he said it's not heated. It is very cold. So only crazy Brits would use it at this time. And I don't think George is even crazy enough for that. This is not a pretty and luxurious hotel by any means. And if you know Motel 6, you'll know that's just was never gonna be the case. We paid 72 pounds per room per night. Um, and we're here for less than 24 hours. It's somewhere to sleep. And boy, did we need to sleep last night. We arrived about six o'clock in the evening. 
I managed to stay up till about eight, I think, just, and we all woke up around four o'clock this morning. So it's okay, it's fine. It's just somewhere safe and clean, and it was actually quiet as well last night. We're very near the airport, but I didn't hear any of the airplanes coming in, and we had the aircon on as well, so that just kind of masked any extra sounds. Last night when we arrived, we were absolutely exhausted, but the big boys still needed more food. So we took a little walk across the road. We popped to 7-Eleven for some soft drinks and some water. And we found Apollo Loco just, just out there. It was like three minutes from here. Uh, the big boys had nachos and quesadillas, and we picked up their food, really. <laughs> I wasn't hungry at all. So since we were up early this morning, um, everyone was awake at like four o'clock this morning. We decided to get up and get out um, for breakfast at six o'clock. Yeah. And we had a vote and we found a Denny's, which was just about a 15 minute walk down the road. One thing to note is they also took a $75 per room um, deposit. And they were adamant that there's no smoking in the rooms or you're going to get charged $250. I assured him none of us were going to smoke in the rooms. You haven't smoked in the room, George, have you? Oh. I'm not going to say that much, Dad. Anyway, we're going to check out now um, and head in an Uber over to El Monte Rentals to pick up the RV. So we ordered an Uber XL for the five of us and our bags, and it came in no time at all. And it took us on a half an hour drive through LA to El Monte RV. You guys have a wonderful future. Hey. It's got an Avon. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this place is so impressive. It feels so professional. We just had proper paperwork sit down. We went through the contract, upsold us a little bit, but that was insurance. So do you know what? You can never be overinsured. So yes, we upgraded to the top insurance where I said, so I can bring this back with as many dents and scratches in as I want with no extra charge. And she said, yeah, yeah. not that I plan to do that. No, but. we don't plan to do that. <laughs> and price-wise? Price-wise. Okay, so I ordered this, I booked this um, at home, and at the start of the process, there, there is a code, like winter 23, to get a discount. Right. Um, and by the time we finished, that, that discount hadn't been applied. So it was about two and a half thousand pounds in total yeah. with everything, and I fully loaded it with everything, apart from the kitchen kit, because Steve doesn't care about the kitchen. We're going to be eating out a lot, so <laughs> what the heck. 10 days they yeah. wanted how much 150 bucks for the kitchen kit yeah but the comfort pack that we did order included all our bedding um towels and also like a personal kit for bowls spoons knives forks and that stuff so yeah well last time we just went straight to walmart and we just bought the extras Lindsay said no we're not doing it this time we just that. get it included so it was too cold last time right. <laughs> i have fear of being cold at bedtime again but we do need to stop at a Walmart first, yeah, to get some supplies. But they've got to do the handover, yeah, but it looks beautiful, you can see in the background there. It looks beautiful. The handover started with a thorough inspection of the outside of the van. Our host pointed out all the storage lockers, and together we identified any existing dents and scratches. Oh, there's a dent there, look. A dent. Gotcha, here is your outdoor TV. Outdoor TV? Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. Fantastic. Look at this love outdoor TV. Not that we're going to watch TV much, but we've got the option to. Yeah. <laughs> what I really like about the A-Class is that you have self-leveling as well as a two-side camera. So when you turn this turn signal, you'll see which one, what's on each, each side. Then you also have a backup camera. And it's got self-leveling mm -hmm. on air? On hydraulics. Right. 7.3 litre V8 is going to eat the gas. Uh, your propane is full right now. Um, so basically all you need the propane for is the fridge, gas to the stove, the water heater, and the heater at night. Um, a full tank of propane should last you about 7 to 10 days depending on how much you use it. The only time we would ask you to touch this is if you're refueling your main, your gas tank to turn it. Um, to close it, just turn the valve to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Um, just in the events that you do have to, if you need to refill it, just go to a gas station that sells propane or U-Haul, mm -hmm. ask them to uh, fill it for you. Yeah, right. Went to U-Haul last time, didn't we? We did. This over here is your generator. Your generator works off of your main gas tank, so if your gas tank hits a quarter to a quarter below, it'll automatically shut it off. Mm -hmm. um, all the controls are inside, so you shouldn't have to touch this, but it's here just in case you need it. Again, we don't charge for generator usage. Um, basically, 
the only thing we do ask with this is to use it at a five to one ratio, meaning run it for as long as five hours, let it rest for an hour. Okay, that's good advice. Uh, over here you have your um, holding tank. So you have your black valve and your gray valve. Black valve is anything that goes down the toilet. Gray valve is anything that goes down the sink or the shower. They're open right now just to show you that they're completely empty. Um, just in the events that you have to dump it out, there is a black water hose inside the compartment that has a similar... Um, Where's the hose? In the compartment. That has a similar gauge to this. Yeah. You just take the cap off, um, connect the hose, hose on the ground, pull the black valve first and the gray valve second. Make sure, make sure that the hose is on the ground before you pull anything out. Um, I did that when I was new and it was not fun cleaning, so I highly advise connecting the hose on the ground first before pulling anything out. You got it. Um, city water fill is just an open pipe that will supply water throughout the whole unit if you have water connections where you're going. This does not hold anything. It's literally just an open pipe that will use the pressure from the water source that will supply water throughout the whole right. unit. Uh, fresh water tank fill is, if you want to refill your fresh water tank, this it's, is your portable water. It's full right now. It's full right now. Yeah. Black water tank flush is if you completely want to um, flush out the black water tank. Lastly is your 50 amp plug-in with your 30 amp adapter, your fresh water hose, um, emergency triangle, black water hose, and a picnic table. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Honey? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. We then moved to the inside of the van, where he showed us the master switch panel by the front door, explaining which switch works what. Over here you have your awning switch which is that shade on the outside. The awning only works when the engine is off, so please make sure it's fully retracted before you start moving. Don't open it on a windy day, and please don't leave it out at night, just because you never know if there's a sudden gust of wind. As we moved through the van, he showed us how to put the slides out. There are two slides in total in this vehicle, one for the front dinette. George, what do you reckon of that? <laughs> you play football in here now. And another one on the other side for the rear bunks and the main bedroom making this thing huge when both slides are out. Imagine this fitted to our van right. in the UK. Oh, I think we'll be all right in here. Look how right. big it is. Matt would say there's a prime pooping position, wouldn't you? I, he would say that. Our friend Matt. This size shower as well. Oh, it's a great size shower. Yeah. I can see it's using the shower. Right. That's a newbie. Yeah. A new thing for us, isn't it? And a third TV over here. Hey. Wow, is the one up front as well that yeah. I can spot? Oh, oh, that fourth. <laughs> four TVs in this There's thing. A bunch of TVs on it. <laughs> he pointed out the panel in the cab where we would use to put the hydraulic leavening legs down. Fresh water tank is full, black water tank is empty. He then walked us through the main control panel, explaining how it worked and what we needed to keep an eye on. And finally, he showed us around the kitchen appliances, starting with the fridge. <laughs> Does it pass the sniff test? It's passing the sniff Open them up. So far. Is it all right? Rented an RV in Florida last winter, uh -huh. and it was rancid. It's perfect. Yay! Hallelujah! And it's a great size as well. And Look at that. It's cold as well. Yes. Yeah. And finally, moving to the sink, hob, and oven. All right, my love. Do yeah, you? Yeah, I've just got it. It's only ten days. I could, I, do, I could do a good few weeks in this thing. I think so. Really. And there's the mileage: fifteen thousand two hundred and twenty-eight and it's going to do 533 miles to empty. If you saw our Florida series last, last year, you'll know that the van that we rented was pretty disgusting. It was dirty, it, the fridge smelled terribly, and I was given a kit as compensation. Um, this kit here is beautifully wrapped up and packaged. We've got one for every person. We've all got our own towels, bedding, everything we need. I did pay for it, it was $55 per person. Um, which is a lot. It's a lot more than Steve wanted to pay, but do you know what? I am fed up of doing these things <laughs> and feeling like we're doing it on too much of a budget and things aren't right. So I feel like coming here, I feel so confident and so comfortable with the service we've received. Right, yes. it's, it's a real, um, it's not a franchise. These people own this this business here and they've they're really invested in it where well. cruise america is a franchise and it feels like a franchise doesn't i'm it? sure there are a good cruise americas out there but we've not come across them we've also um only paid for four and they've given us five of these so let's get to them don't tell them right let's get this yeah. thing loaded up boys go 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 a few moments later as we pulled away from el monte rv the reality of the size of this thing really hit hey, love. uh right yes this may not be a massive amount longer than ours. How much longer do you say? Uh, three feet. But it feels way bigger. 
I'm a little bit anxious here, but uh, we'll be all right. The roads are bigger, we'll be all right. First stop though, let's get to the Walmart and get some accessories and get what we need and get a bit of food. Come on in, missus, let's go shopping. It's a big store. Let's see if we can do this quick. Same layout as every Walmart. Well, we've done quite well. Got all the supplies we need. Thank you, Thank and you. you. Have a lovely Thank new year. Happy new year. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the fridge loaded up, all the shopping away. And uh, the boys are dying to get these slide outs out and start deciding who's sleeping where. But what we're going to do, we're heading north out of LA now. We want to get to Vegas, hopefully tomorrow. So we're on the CAE 57 heading north. We're going to drive a couple of hours until it gets dark and find somewhere to stop for tonight. You might be wondering why we're not staying in LA and the reason is we have been and done this before. We've stayed here before. We had a fantastic time. But it's definitely a city that is much easier if you've got a car. I wouldn't want to be driving this thing and getting from A to B within the city. So maybe we'll find a way of spending some time there towards the end of the holiday. But for now, our priority is to get to Vegas. So we're driving through the Hollywood Hills and I see the um, observatory over the, on the left here. We went there last time we were here with our friends Tony and Marinda and we also went to see the Hollywood sign last time we were here as well, which is brilliant. It's a must, but we've done that. So onwards out of LA and the traffic is building up. It's already Friday um, and it's kind of, we're coming into rush hour now. So yes, let's hope we can make some headway before it gets dark. Another highlight for me was the tar pits, which were pretty much in the center of LA. It's bubbling pits of tar and every so often bits of dinosaur come out. It's fantastic, really worth looking at if, if you are here. I really like the great big window. It's like we're at a drive-in movie or something. Right, I've driven until it's dark and I couldn't see the white lines properly. My eyes ain't what it used to be. So we found somewhere to stop for the night. I'll show you where that is in a minute, but if you watched our Florida series, you are probably guessing right. Um, but Lindsay's now sorting out all the um, clothing and stuff to, and everyone's diving up and seeing what bed looks like. Harry wants the bed up top there. And George, are you going up there, are you? Yeah, uh, bunk Perfect, mate, perfect. And as you see, we've got both slide outs out, which I'll show you more of around the RV, but it is huge in here. It really is, isn't it, love? Yes, it's very big, <laughs> it's great. Right, let's show you where we are. Ed's already found Wi-Fi to jump onto. But we are at a Cracker Barrel. And there we are, I've taken a few spaces. There's no RV um, parking spaces here. It seems that there's plenty of room, just grab a few spaces. But we've not gone over the lines, even with the slide outs out like that. We should be all right. And there's plenty of room. You've got someone else parked over there. And it looks like you've got someone full-time in their car right here. But of course, we will pop in Cracker Barrel and spend some money. But this will do us for the night. Hey, Georgie. God, uh... Right, whilst we're sorting the bedding out, let's have a beer out the fridge. And I bought some Corona, got a box of Corona, so that should do us. First problem, no bottle opener. Is this one here? <laughs> Is everything fine in its place, my love? Uh, well, you know, these things take time, don't they? Right. They and take months. You were figuring out there's drawers you can't access when the slide outs are in, right? Yes. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in those. Whilst Linz was inside finding places for everything and sorting stuff out, the boys were outside playing with the ball they'd bought from Walmart. So it's been a while since we did a Cracker Barrel and George wants to pop in and take a look. Is that right, George? <laughs> Car park's pretty busy tonight. So there must be a lot of people in there, George. <laughs> look at this, eh? <laughs> they all look exactly the same. God, I miss this place. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It's fabulous. And the layout of everything is exactly the same in every store. Toilets, shop, restaurant. Right. Even the stuff on the shelves. It's in the same place in every store. Oh. George, a slinky dog. I thought it said stinky dog. <laughs> and look at this guy here. Hey? He's in the last... Oh, feel the weight of that. Oh, that is... 
It's quite heavy. It's really heavy. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. These used to be Tamagotchis. I remember these from years ago. Oh my God, this is amazing. What do you found now? The world's smallest everything. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? The world's smallest blower. The world's smallest shot vac. <laughs> what have we got here? Big fun. This place is brilliant. If you've not been to a Cracker Barrel, definitely have a look around the shops. Very funny. Come and the restaurant is just through the other side. Oh, Georgie. <laughs> I kind of like it. Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones, mate. Right. Elvis. You know what? We may bump into him in Vegas tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's still alive. He's still it? alive. Yeah. <laughs> And the Earth is actually flat, believe it right. or not. Right, we saw some flat Earthers last time we was in Vegas, didn't we? Yeah. Our Route 66 jigsaw. So that is one left to do. We do need to do Route 66 at some stage. But there you go, there's a quick look around the cool Cracker Barrel store that it is. But we're probably going to pop in the restaurant for breakfast in the morning. All good? Yep. And back to the van. And look, you can hardly notice the slide out is out here. Only if you look at it from the side angle here. But it gives it so much more room inside. What you found, George? Oh, I'm just finding random doohickeys to put on my desk. <laughs> a doohickey? It's just stuff <laughs> that you never knew you needed, but you need. <laughs> and the boys are chilling there, and Lindsay is making her nighttime cup of tea. <laughs> With proper tea bags? Proper, I brought my own tea bags. You brought I know yours. it's such a, a cliche British thing to do. But I have tried buying tea bags here and they're flipping expensive, so no. And they're not Yorkshire. And they're not. Well, no, we did see them for some Yorkshire ones, but they were about $15 for four or something ridiculous. <laughs> so I saved us money there, darling. What was so that, George? You called it midnight, but it's actually quarter past eight. Right, I know, but you know what time it is at home? No. <laughs> it's 4.15 in the morning at home and it's quarter past eight here, George. So you yeah, just need yeah, to stay yeah. up another couple of hours. If we're going to get you to stay up on New Year's Eve till midnight, step to at least 10 o'clock today. Need to adjust, mate. Okay. <laughs> Look at that yawn. Well, there you go. We're going to leave it there tonight and we'll pick you up in the morning. The next day. Morning, my love. How's the straighteners doing on the generator? They are just about coping. Yeah. Yeah. It's not ideal. They've not got up to full temperature. They're still flashing. But um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> and no one wants to see my bed hair. You look beautiful. Bless you. Thank you. Place is a little trashed in here, but look at the space we got in here. Fantastic. Did you sleep well, George? No. no you didn't. Uh, I would have, but I didn't convert it, so that's on me. George wanted to sleep up top. But, and what we'll show you in the uh, tour, is that this is not very long. None of them are. So Eddie couldn't sleep down here. Yeah. So Eddie had to sleep up here because he's over six foot. And George took the lower bunk. And he didn't turn it into a bed. No. Just kept it as a sofa. It's because I wanted to use it as travelling seats. Yeah. Because it can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legally. Well, we'll we'll flip it into a bed tonight, eh? Yeah. Right. And we slept well on here with a couple of blankets each and... Uh, a couple of sheets and what have you. So George and Lynn's have headed into Cracker Barrel. They're going to pop in and see what they're up to. <laughs> you want the Rubik's, do you? I do. This place cracks me up. It does, it's so it? brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's really busy here because it's Saturday morning. I forgot it was Saturday. Lost track of the days, but it's really busy in the restaurant. What you got? So I've come out with a switchblade comb. I actually had a butterfly comb a while ago but wanted to give this one a go and the world's smallest rubik's cube <laughs> that should keep you busy eh it should it should okay so you might notice i've got my coat on um it got down to five degrees last night we have the heating on in the rv um but the sun's just coming out um so hopefully it'll raise we're looking at hopefully going to maybe 15 16 degrees today not as hot as we'd want it not as hot as florida but still warm she's beautiful isn't she and this guy looks like he's been here for a while and he's not going anywhere quick. Okay, the boys have gone off to get a coffee um, and we're gonna pack this thing up and get ready to go on the road. So first job is to put the slide outs in again. And the big one is this back one. This whole lot is gonna come in, so in. There we go. 
and you'll see we can still get through down here but it's a little tight and to get into the bathroom is possible but again a little tight and this top bed here where Harry's sleeping is also electric and that's controlled by this bed slide just here so raising it and these front blinds the ones at the side are a manual just give them a tug like that and like that but the front one that's electric push the button and up she comes awesome I do like that there you go and one more slide out to bring it and go for it Linz there you go and again you can still move around in here okay right let's hit the road Well, we've driven two and a half hours, actually it's probably closer to three hours, um, through the mountains and the deserts, and we're in Vegas. And we're just heading to see the sign right by the airport here. Listen to that. Look at them jets. Awesome. And look how busy it is. It is heaving of people. And everyone's queuing to get a photo at the sign. Here she comes. Your poor knee hurts in my love. Oh. Hey ho, it has been a week of travel hasn't it, such a long couple of days but we have reached our first proper destination. So we've made it to Vegas, Yes. there's the sign behind us, <laughs> but we've got nowhere to stay tonight, but make sure you're subscribed and catch us next time guys.